Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared, and in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Hello there, Seraphim17 once again, bringing you the final section to my Fallout Honest Hearts DLC video walkthrough. And this is the choice that you're going to have to make on whether or not this tribe leaves Zion or stays and defends Zion. And this is effectively the last mission and it's going to last maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So, just from that information you now know that this, this is immensely short, this DLC. It's significantly shorter than what Dead Money was, but it's also significantly of higher quality. I haven't shown you any of the quality because I haven't been talking to people. And the, the real strength to this piece of content is the conversations, is the people that you can speak with. Because they flesh out characters and backstories and all sorts of interesting stuff. And you really want to do that if you can. And I've just gone the completely fucking wrong way. Because that waypoint is misleading. <laughs> but I would rather have this kind of content over the Dead Money one any day. But I still believe uh, Fallout DLC should be significantly better because the game is that good. I mean, just look at Point Lookout. To me, Point Lookout is the pinnacle. It is the best the content has ever been. But you need to talk to Daniel now. You need to... To tell him that you've, you've checked everything in the valley and you've got the map of the Grand Staircase. And this is where you get to make your choice. And right now, this is your last opportunity to stay in this place. Once you do this objective, you have to leave Zion, I believe. So make sure you make a save just in case. I could be wrong, but he says it as if you're going to leave afterwards. So just a fair warning to you. 3,250 experience. I don't know why they're giving you that much. That's just ridiculous. And I'm going to do... Uh, we fight because I'm going to go down the, the riverbed with Graham and we're going to kill some dudes with our 45s. So, that's your choice made. He doesn't like it, he bitches a lot. You lose your perks because you lose that woman. There's a nice little dark screen, and then you're going to meet up with Graham. Joshua Graham. So, he talks a little bit more. Let's do it get your guns out. He gives you a lovely perk that when you're using a 45 the spread and the criticals are a lot more are a lot more controllable the better. So I'm going to probably put my 45 on for this fight just to make it, you know, a little bit more true to the originally intended purpose and then you just have to run all the way down the creek. All the way down this river, all the way around here and you have to go in this little entrance here, around here to the triangle. It's a little bit misleading because it doesn't tell you, and if you try and fast travel it, it generally says you can't do it at this moment in time, so it wants you to, to do this because, as you see, people are going to attack you on this walkway, but don't worry because Joshua Graham is a fucking beast. He just owns people with that 45. My 45's garbage, and apparently he was friendly, so check me out. Nice friendly fire. But keep moving up here. And while we move, there's... Oh, is that a bad guy? That is a bad guy. Come on, Vats, do your business. There we go. Oh, stupid stranger. Whoa, I can still see my gun. Oh, weird. Another testament to the glitchiness of New Vegas. Aren't we grateful, uh, aren't we, grateful we got all those patches that fixed it? <laughs> Dude just got turned into cream paste. And again, it's night time, so I can't see a fucking thing. What is this game's fetish with darkness? If you're going to have a night and day cycle, at least make the moon illuminate something, because this place is fucking dead. It's like a mine. There we go. Look, let me look at that. It's five it Whoa, is that lightning? That is lightning. Let's get another hour. Come on, son. Longest hour of your life. There we go. Now I can see. But I still haven't started my Brink guide, which sucks, because it's pretty much impossible to do a solo guide on that, because it's like playing a multiplayer if you're a bad player and have a bad connection and, you know, just only have one finger or something, because it's it's awful. You can't do it solo, the bots are too good, it's too heavily biased against you, it's just silly on hard. So I'm going to get a few buddies, and at this moment in time, one of my buddies doesn't even own the game, because... The, the retailer that we, we buy our games from has completely failed him with the delivery service, so he's nice and pissed. And apparently he's going to rent it, so... It might be me and three friends as opposed to... me Sorry, me and two friends as opposed to me and three friends. And another problem we've had with fucking Brink, because... Uh, you just wait till that guy comes out, I'm going to shit on Brink so hard, it's going to feel like a fucking Dutch porn star. I swear to God. It's such a bad game. But you can't play with people if your rank is too high. 
because the game tries to balance it, regardless of the game type, even if it's a private game and you invite somebody. Uh, one of my friends, I think he's about level 5, I'm a level 18, and it will not let us play together, because apparently, even though we're on the same side, I am too strong. Just won't let us gain the same game. That's how fucking broken that game is. And then you look at all the marketing campaigns that they had, and it's all like, oh, drop in and play with your friends, it's gonna be the fucking bomb. And it was garbage. What a disappointing piece of shit that game is. Swear to God, man. There won't be cancer if that game didn't exist. That's how poor it is. Oh, look at these people with anti-material rifles. Why is it they're running around wearing rags and fucking feathers, yet they've all got the most advanced anti-vehicle weapon imaginable? Unbelievable. Bunch of hillbillies with 50 cals. What's going on there? And as you can see, there's a ton of red on my map. There's a guy up there. He's always up there, him. Oh, that was a nice critical. Then he's... Oh! Condition of this pistol's fucked. Can I jury rig it? Let's have a look. Jury rig is the best, one of the best abilities you can get. One of the best perks on the game. It is beast. I'll put that one on and I'll repair it. Ooh, shit, I hate that. When you're so eager to press A to repair really quickly and you, you accidentally do a specific weapon so they have to reload. That is the worst. Don't do that. I can't even imagine repairing this with a mysterious magnum because that magnum is so much better than this gun. It's unbelievable. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, I'm going the wrong way again. Don't follow this way. I, I did it last time. There's an objective that the waypoint's pointing to and it's for doing something to do with a burial ground, but it's completely optional. You don't have to do it. And the easiest way to, to reroute yourself is to get back on the water. Which is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to jump off this cliff into the lake. Oh, that's what I intend to do. Yeah, made my way around there, and I should be fine. And but look at this, it's still dark. That water does look nice though, with the glistening. And right then, am I dead? Is he dead? What the fuck is that? That is broken. They need to get rid of that. Why would I care if he's just got a critical when he's nine miles away? Jesus Christ. Can you imagine if you were watching someone else's game? Kill calm, it weren't even you fucking dying. How weird would that be? That's a dude next to that boat, just chilling out, having a cig. I'm going to snipe him with his pistol that's got no range. Oh, it did then. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Tomahawk! <laughs> See ya, bitch. Oh, come on! Jesus Christ, five yards! Seriously? There you go, bitch. This is the Red Rapids. This is where we need to keep going, and I believe... Yeah, we're just about to get the turn off up here. Fuck that pistol, it's garbage. It was so much better my first run through, but I think that's just because I had stars in my eyes every time I fired it. So I'm a fan of the 45. I'm a fan of any pistols that look cool. And here it is. Here is the final area of the game. And you're going to get separated from Joshua, so... Just bear in mind, if you're relying on him to kill things, there's a section coming up where you're going to have to kill stuff yourself, but truth be told, there's not that many enemies and it's not that difficult. There's one section where you have to navigate a cave that's got a few guys with anti-material rifles, but that aside, it's about as easy as it gets. It really is. And I'm hoping I can fit this into this 20 minute video so that I don't fucking lose the live comm. So, I would run faster if I physically could, but this guy's got arthritis and he walks. If anybody played The Darkness, you'll know what I mean. That guy walked so fucking slow, man. Why? Just why? That's a bad guy. And if for some reason my gun wouldn't fire, and the game's frame rate or whatever is dropping to fuck, so it's jerking like a bitch. Just ignoring these morons. That's where you bitch slap him and finish him off, but apparently you don't have that ability in Fallout, which is a shame. I'm reloading. Don't kill me. Wow, jerk. How jerky was that? I like watching that bloody Edward Scissorhands dance. So keep making your way through these ravines. This is when you get separated from Joshua because that explosion happens and you have to. Whoa. This isn't taking too long. We can't let salt upon wounds escape. There you go, he fucks off. And if you come round here, this leads to a cave. And inside the cave is some real fighting, so get whatever weapon you're comfortable with, whichever weapon works. 
and get ready to fight some dudes and I'm trying to find the anti-material rifle but I can't for the life of me because I've got every gun marked to a direction and pressing the diagonals is a pain in the ass cause there we go when they make the next Xbox and they're designing the new pad I don't want them to change a thing except for the fucking D-pad whoever made this D-pad has clearly never played a game with a D-pad he truly hasn't, he's probably the dude who loved the rollerball on Asteroid because this D-pad is fucking garbage really garbage it's preposterous and my friend sent him a message during a fucking guide so I'm not gonna reply to him because it's just rude and I've leveled up again I mean look at this anybody who's looking forward to you know those five level grinding those five levels out and farming experience he's gonna have the biggest disappointment ever because this shit is just the throw levels at you and now I get to pick an ability that I don't even want to use because there's no I want to pick because all the good ones are at the bottom. Oh no, maybe not. So keep making your way through these these, these caves. Be careful, because it is kind of maze-like. This is the exit, though, when you get to this bit here. The shafts of light. And there we go. So now we can continue moving around. I'm putting this gun away, because it makes me slow as shit. And check your map to make sure you're going the right way, because if you don't, you'll go the wrong way like I'm going right now. You need to go this way. Oh, that's a bear trap. Don't stand in that. That's another bear trap. Don't stand in that. Whee! Oh, that's the game jerking out, because this is oh, so poorly optimised. That's two. Wow. I don't even know what happened there. At this moment of the game, it made me think maybe they're trying to show you that war is bad because a lot of the tribes that have come in here to help you kill, they all seem to be sobbing or crouching, doing that coward thing that the AI does when they're clearly outmatched. But it was never really fully realised, so I never got the impression that it was any real emotional behind it, any real emotions. It just, I don't know, half assed maybe. Because that Joshua Graham certainly doesn't give a fuck because you're going to see him execute a bunch of dudes soon. See if I can surprise bitch this guy. Ooh! Aerial... Drop shot. What did he even fire? Wow! I don't even know what happened then. And the dude's on fire, and still alive. I'm sorry, but if you f What?! More dice roll- Fucking gun, man, look at that. That's what I hate about Fallout. It into shooter. It's a fucking... It's like playing Magic the Gathering. You just- There's dice rolls. There's too many dice rolls. Shut up, bitch. Go on. I don't know why, where this fire's come from. I think I've put some funny ammo on. Yeah, I think I did. Incendiary ammo. Which is kind of cool, but I'm not that interested in it. Oh, that's another bad guy, and he's just ran through a bear trap. <laughs> Take that, bitch, for your trouble. There's your eyeball floating down the stream. But just keep moving along this, this riverbed, this creek. And uh, enjoy what's left of this game, because there's, there's not much of the DLC left. And I feel, I've got a feeling that that message, which I'm probably going to open at the end, is my buddy saying how disappointing he thought the length of this DLC was. Because he's that kind of guy. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Moving kind of slow with this piece of shit. That happens every time. Some dude just randomly turns into fire. Like the fucking Fantastic Four character or something. And the cutscene triggers when you get over here. Because you, you'll walk around this next corner... There's a bunch of dudes fighting, and I'm going to drop. There we go. There's a couple guys here that are... Put your gun on, then you're tarred. There we go. You should die. It's five yards. Thank you. This can punch a hole in a tank. It can't get through your loincloth. Shut the fuck up. Go on. She should die. Oh, that's what we like to see. Heads be rolling. And you. Do we go for the trifecta? No, we can't, because I've got no more AP. Which seems a bit weird, because I thought I had that Grim Reaper ability that replenishes... Oh, you hate to see it. But, that's pretty much the last enemy that you have to kill, unless you make the decision around this creek to, to let him go down with dignity. I'm going to try and let Joshua execute him, because the dude's a beast. There we go. This is the final cutscene. You should see it. They're all on the knees, and he starts shooting them. There we go. One, two. This is the leader, the dude that's supposed to be really disfigured and an abomination. Kind of looks like the Predator and Whoopi Goldberg combined. So there's an unskippable cutscene here which kind of blows. Now you stand on holy ground, a temple to God's glory on earth. 
He does make a, a pretty good verdict though. He's kind of like a, a priest covered in in bandages. So for some reason this dude seems to think that I'm the, the bottom of this relationship so he, he looks to me for salvation. Where's the option that just says finish him or pick up the gun? But if you pick this you get to fight. And he dies anyway, so let's take his head off if we can. Just look at the delay there. That's like fucking when you press A on Dead Rising 2's menu and it takes a week for it to come up. And she's back again. What do you do, you stupid woman? Except for knock people on their ass and then they get up and that was useful. There we go. Leader's down. His buddy's there. His buddy's there too. He's shish kebab. Oh, I missed. Oh, I did I. No, five thousand. Look at that. If you didn't, if you didn't <laughs> go up a single level, that's all your levels in one go. But that's the final objective. That's the end of the DLC. Once I've done this fucking leveling bullshit, which I'm not interested in, because I don't need it anymore. Oh, go away. I don't care. But there you go. Cutscene should dip out, and it should explain to us all the choices that we've made. And that's the end of the the Honest Hearts DLC. It's a nice bit of content, it's too short, and it could have been so much better, but thanks for watching, guys. I hope it helped, and you take care now.